everyone! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today is April 25th, which means, as you could probably figure out, I did not move down to Florida on April 21st to start my program the 23rd like I was supposed to. I had to choose between the Disney College program and my professional internship. Obviously I chose my professional internship, so I will be moving down May 25th now, which is in one month exactly. I am so excited, and I am starting my program June 6th, and it's going through January 23rd of next year. So I'm very excited, obviously. Do you like my shirt? I think it's the best. Wait, wait, wait. It gets even better. Are you ready for this? It says Wilderness Explorer. That's me. I got it from Box Lunch and I love it a lot. In today's video, it was actually a request from a subscriber. I guess in my last video they saw some of my pins when I was going through them um, before my phone call from the animal programs department to offer me the position for my professional internship and they asked me to kind of go through my pin collection and I thought that was a great idea for a couple of reasons. One, I could talk about pins for the rest of my life, like I love everything Disney pin. Two, I don't think I'll be able to bring all of them with me to Florida, which is unfortunate. But I think they'll be safe here because I don't really know where I would put them all. Just You'll have to wait and see. It's a big thing, but I'm gonna miss them. <laughs> so I thought it would be cool to kind of put this video together before I leave to kind of document what I have so far. And I'm really excited to show you guys. And if you guys are into pin trading or anything like that, let me know. I would love to see your pins, know your collections. I have a Disney Instagram. So kind of like an Instagram dedicated to Disney pins and Disney things. I will link that down below. I will also link my shirt in case you're interested in that. And I also have a Pinpix account, which is a kind of database site for pins and you can trade on there and it kind of keeps track of what you have, what you want, what you have to trade, all that good stuff. I'll put that below too. You can check it out if you want. There's more details specifically on each of the pins that I have. So if you see one that you love, you could probably find it on there. I haven't updated it in a while, but I will do that. So hopefully by the time you're watching this video, it'll be all updated and ready to go. Just a little bit of general background about my pin experience. I started collecting when I was like five. I went back in 2001 for the first time and my mom and dad got me a few pins and a lanyard and you know I had Jessie and Cinderella and those basic ones. Um, and then I started going back and around 2008, 2009 I really started getting into trading with the cast members and I found out what Hidden Mickey pins were and I was really into it. And then around 2014 I really started like collecting and trading with other traders online and you know purchasing the lower edition pins um, which are usually more expensive and higher value and that's really when I started to acquire and accumulate all of these wonderful collections and getting really serious about the hobby which is unfortunately an expensive one but I think it's beautiful because each pin I feel like is a little piece of art that kind of you know carries on the story past the movie. That is my journey through pin trading and now we are here and I'm about to become a cast member and I cannot wait to be able to purchase pins and trade pins with other cast members and at you know pin trading events and Disney World. So if you guys have any questions about pin trading, how to get into it, how to organize, how to go about it in the parks with cast members, how to start a collection, let me know. If you have any sort of those questions I'll be able to answer them, just put them in the comments and, you know, I'll try to, I'll try to work you through it because it's uh, pretty involved. Okay, so before I show you my first collection, I'm just going to kind of break down the types of pins that there are. There's four or five main types. There's open edition pins, which are basically an unlimited edition sold in the parks, sold in stores. You could pretty much find them online, anywhere. They're pretty, they're usually, usually pretty easy to come by. Then there's limited release pins, which are usually 
offered for an amount of time. So if they're a holiday pin, like a Christmas pin or something like that, it'll be offered say from November to January and there will be an unlimited amount sold in that time, but only in that time. So it's a limited release. There's no specific amount of them but it's just a time frame that they're sold in. And then there's limited editions, which have a specific number of the pins made and sold. So it could be limited edition of 10, which are super hard to find as you could imagine, or limited edition of 10,000, which is still pretty limited considering, but it's easier to find, probably not as expensive to purchase. And then there's hidden Mickey pins, which are kind of sets. It used to be that you could only trade cast members for hidden mickey pins in the parks but now i think you could buy mystery packs in the stores in the parks and they have hidden mickey pins in them there could be different sets and there's usually four or five pins and then a chaser pin which is all metal so it could be you know stitch making different faces or something like that and there's sets that you could try to complete the sets by trading with cast members and then there's also something called a fantasy pin which are not authorized by disney and you cannot trade for in the parks but you can keep them like in your collection and they're made by fans or designers um, again not authorized by Disney but sold privately um, you know created by your own artwork and things that people might be interested in um, but they can't be sold in Disney stores and they can't be traded in Disney parks so it's pretty much just to kind of come across almost by accident and then to keep in your collection so I have a couple examples of those too but mostly it's just open edition, limited edition, limited release, and hidden Mickey pins. All right, now let's get into my collections. I have my keeper collection, which is like all of the pins that I'm absolutely keeping and wouldn't trade for anything, and then I have my traders. So it's the pins that I have right now, but I'm looking to trade for other pins that I would want to keep or, you know, to maybe increase in value and trade for something even better later, that kind of thing. So my first collection that I'm going to show you is by far my largest collection, <sighs> literally and numerically. This is my Frozen collection. <laughs> Here we are. Here it is. It's a whole big board. This is a canvas that I got from Michael's, I believe, and it's literally just like a massive canvas that you would like paint on. You could see the back. Um, but I, being the innovative, creative person I am, thought, let me just stick all my pins on this thing. How am I going to ever move with this? I don't know. I'm going to have to take them all off, I guess. But you have your Annas. You have your Elsas. You've got your jumbo, you know, cast group characters here in the middle. I have my Frozen Ever After pin from the ride. Um, oh, and then over here is Olaf. My Olafs. And there's a marshmallow and a troll. Those two are just open editions. So this is Sven here. This is baby Sven. He's super duper cute. Right? I love him. And he is a fantasy pin, so he is actually not an authorized Disney pin. I honestly forget where I got him. I got him a couple years ago. Somebody designed him and produced him and sold him. So I can really just keep him in my collection, but I would anyway because look at how stinking cute he is. Here's a hidden Mickey as an example of a hidden Mickey. This one is also Sven. And if I show you up close, you could see like the little hidden Mickey, the little metal Mickey on there, which means that he's part of a set. So I think that was like the sidekick set. So there's um, like Miko the raccoon from Pocahontas. I think there's a Doug from Up. So there's a couple of other like sidekicks and Sven was one of them. These are my Elsas. These are my pride and joys. These are probably the most expensive pins that I own or some of the most expensive. I have the Marquee from um, one of the releases of Frozen. So there's a couple different marquees from the El Capitan Theater. These pins were released at the Disney Soda Fountain, the Ghirardelli one in Los Angeles, Hollywood, California. Um, I'm really hoping that one day they release pins at the um, Ghirardelli Fountain in Disney Springs, but not yet, not yet. Um, there's a few others from the Soda Fountain, like this one, it's a stained glass, it's beautiful. Um, this one is the matching one of Anna over here, a pin trading night, 
these are really pretty. They open up. As do the macaroons from Paris. Isn't that super cute? And it says Disneyland Paris. It's from like a tea time one. And I think it's really cute. I have a matching Elsa over here. And I love these because I love macaroons and I love Paris. These ones are also stained glass. This is from the Disney Soda Fountain. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite pins. It's so beautiful. When you hold it up to the light, it just shines through and you know me, you know I love Elsa, and this is, I worked so hard to get this pin. I saved up my money, it was ridiculously expensive. I'm not gonna say how much because it's just embarrassing. And then this one's from Walt Disney Imagineering, which means that only cast members can like order them and get them online, and I think it's limited edition of 300, and it's super pretty. The snowflake is stained glass. I have a picture of this one on my Instagram, so you can go look and see what it looks like with like the light shining through it too if you want to it's really interesting so most of these over here are open editions i try to keep them balanced like both sides of the collection i try to keep it balanced so you could see that there's a couple that i have for anna or elsa that i don't have for the other so there's a space like kind of like a placeholder like i have the elsa paint the night i don't have an anna paint the night so i have a space here for that once i get it um, and I have like, you know, do you want to build a snowman, which is Anna's song, and I'm hoping to get Let It Go, which is Elsa's song, and put it here. So I really tried to plan this board, but I don't know how well that's going to go, considering I'm probably going to have to take most of these off once I move them anyway. I think I'm going to leave this here, though. I'll probably take a few of them with me, because I can't, like this one, like I can't, I can't leave it here. And then my Olaf's. A bunch of these are from... The Disney soda fountain also and they're so cute the little ornament one I love it my next collection is much smaller and I don't know if you guys know any of like the Tinkerbell movies they have like whatever the lost treasure and one is called secret of the wings and I love that one <laughs> I don't know why I love Periwinkle which is Tinkerbell's sister she's a winter fairy I just think she's adorable and I am a Periwinkle completist, which means that I have every pin with Periwinkle on it. Sounds like a lot. It's not. There's only five Periwinkle pins. Here's the marquee like I had for Frozen. It's a Secret of the Wings one, and I love it. And here are my little Periwinkles. This is a Pin Trader Delight from the Soda Fountain. This is an open edition just from a set of Secret of the Wings, and I think Tinkerbell's like fairy friends. Um, this is another limited edition. With Tink and Periwinkle, I think it's so cute because they're sisters. And then here's Periwinkle on a snowflake because she is a winter fairy. So I have a couple of pin bags, which is how I organize my pins that aren't on boards. It keeps them safe, it keeps them clean, um, keeps the collections together. So this bag, which I love, it's a Haunted Mansion bag. Is that so cool? This one keeps all of like my park pins and hidden Mickey sets and things like that. So these are my uh, Magic Kingdom pins. I don't have very many, but I really like the ones that I do have. These are just like generic ones with Mickey, Splash Mountain pins, and then these. I love these. These are like a t-shirt collection is what they're called. Each of them is for a different ride. So you've got Splash Mountain, Space Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean, and uh, Haunted Mansion. And each one has kind of like a slogan or a saying on it. Splash Mountain says, Splash Mountain, dry is not an option, Space Mountain, spaced out, Pirates of the Caribbean, a pirate's life for me, and the Haunted Mansion, have a nice fright. And this one is actually really funny because they discontinued this t-shirt. These are based off of t-shirts that they sold in the parks for a while. And this one, they discontinued it because it's, they said that the way that it's set up, like, promotes getting off the ride early, which is not safe at all, um, because they, like, jump out when there's a ghost in their vehicle so I thought that was just a little bit of trivia fun fact but I think it's pretty funny this is a piece of Disney history pin and it's Pirates of the Caribbean and I don't know if you can see but there's a bit of fuzz on the inside of the little dome there and it's actually a piece of the ride which is really cool I don't know what piece it is and they have it for a bunch of the different rides but these pins are kind of expensive as you can imagine because it is a piece of the ride in the pin so they're kind of hard to come by but I think that one's really cool. Epcot of course because I love Epcot. Um, here are just the general Epcot pins on this side with Mickey and Figment. We've got Test Track, some more Figment, 
And then over here we have Mission Space, which are super cool. This one moves a little bit. These are from a mystery box from Soren. So you get a box and there's a bunch that you could get of these. It's all of the places that Soren around the world goes. So it could be Australia, Egypt, Fiji, Paris, that kind of thing. So you could try to collect all of them. I think that's super cool. I love the new Soren around the world. So I really like that set. And then this pin I love. I got this one online and it says keep moving forward and it spins. I believe it's from one of the tours that you could do around Epcot, like one of the Segway tours. I have another one I think in my traders from the same set, but I love it. I love the saying keep moving forward. It reminds me of Meet the Robinsons and it's super positive. And I just, I saw that pin and I'm like, I need it. So I bought it on eBay. <laughs> Animal Kingdom pins. Here's a couple, just the Tree of Life and Pluto. This one is Earth Day, I believe from 2001. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, look at that, isn't that so cool, it spins. And then we've got some rides, Cali River Rapids. Goes up and down. Um, Everest, I got this pin when I conquered Everest. And I went on with my mom and I was like, hey mom, guess what, I need it. And she was like, of course you do. So I got that one. Dinosaur, love dinosaur. Um, the dinosaur fell off. I still have it. I have yet to glue it, <laughs> but it is usually a big red dinosaur there. And then it's tough to be a bug. Classic. Hollywood Studios. Back when there's a hat. Rip. Um, old Hollywood mini. Rock and Roller Coaster. Guitar pick. I think that's really cool. And Tower of Terror. And this one moves too. The elevator kind of goes back and forth. I also have like pins from the years that I was there and the resorts that I stayed at. And I recently realized that I forgot to get one for Coronado Springs when me and Maggie went, so I'll have to get one when I go back to Disney. We've got from 2000 all the way until 2017. I like the Peter one that says like make a dream come true. This one is from when I went in 2001. And then here are all of my places I've stayed. We've got the Polynesian, which is now missing a dangle because it's from 2001 and it just didn't make it. <laughs> Disney Wonder, The Cruise, Caribbean Beach Resort, All Star. I've only stayed at movies, but I believe there's only, or there was only one pin for all three resorts when I got that one. And then we've got Bay Lake Tower, which is a Vacation Club exclusive pin, but the people I went with when I stayed there were uh, Vacation Club members, so they helped me get that one. And then you've got Saratoga Springs, which we stayed at last January, and it's got Max on it. I believe this was a limited release or limited edition for the holiday season. Okay, this is a little mishmash of everything, isn't it? We've got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> These are mostly... Hidden Mickey sets, you've got the apples, which I love, the macaroons, I believe I'm missing the purple one from this set, the buses, oh look at those, I love these, I'm still missing quite a few and I hope to find them eventually. The puffles, okay. Me and my cousins went back in like 2009, I believe for Halloween, and we were obsessed with the puffles pins. I don't know why those specifically, we just thought they were so cute, so my mom got them for us for Christmas, each of us, and they're still just the memories. Like, I could never trade them because we just wanted Puffles pins. I, like, like, I never even played Club Penguin. I don't know why they meant that much to me, but they did. And then there's these little Florida license plates, which are really cute, and then we've got Minnie next to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and I thought that was cool because I went to Italy. And this is from the Diamond Celebration, the 60th anniversary from Disneyland, and I believe it's supposed to represent Space Mountain, and it's also a hidden Mickey. But that was the only one that I could find because we were only there for a day. But we're almost there! <laughs> In this book. There's more. Don't you worry. These are from the 55th anniversary of Disneyland, and they're each of the lands. They're like little flags. So those were super cute. And then the princesses. And I believe I'm missing Cinderella and Aurora from that set. Number two is much heavier. This is the one that has all of my like serious collections that aren't Frozen or Periwinkle in them. And they're beautiful and I love it. So get comfy. This is a big one. First we have... <laughs> I pulled a muscle in my shoulder yesterday, so this is a struggle. 
Okay, so we've got Beauty and the Beast is the first one, or Belle more specifically. Um, you know, there's limited edition ones, we've got sliders, and I love, look at the little ear hat one. It's like a Belle dress, but it's an ear hat. I think that's so cute. This is probably my most expensive pin. I think it's limited edition 100, and it's gorgeous. I purchased one pin from a person um, I believe it might have been this one actually and he was like oh I'm actually selling this one too for like a super super cheap price and he's like do you want it like do you collect bell I was like yeah <laughs> I do <laughs> um, and it had a broken post which I fixed but now I have her in my collection my mom was like are you gonna resell it I was like oh yeah no she's staying forever and ever and ever um, and then I have a bunch of open editions. I've got the macaroon, like, on an Elsa from Paris. I have the live-action little book. So there's Emma inside. There she is. There's some that open, like this one. And the castle one is a mirror with Belle inside. So that's kind of cool. And this is just a little bit more Belle. I tried to separate it so it's, like, her in her yellow dress, her in her blue dress, and then, you know, just... Here's a rose, which I love. I'm hoping I can find more rose pins. And then her and Philippe. I love this pin because it's her in her green dress and there's not too many pins like that. These might be my favorite pins that I own. They're called Piece of Disney Movie Pins. They're limited edition of, I believe, 2000 for each film. And each one has a different cell from the film inside. So I'll show you an example. I'll show you my favorite one. This one's from Tangled. I have three from Tangled, one from Fantasia, one from Mulan, one from Peter Pan, uh, one from Little Mermaid, one from Finding Nemo, and one from Beauty and the Beast. This one's from Tangled, and it's the lantern scene. You can see the scene, and it doesn't like light up or anything, so it's kind of hard to see when you take your hand away, but you can see Rapunzel and Flynn. Each cell is different, and it's a little bit harder to see, but it's Flynn and Rapunzel during the kingdom dance scene. Um, they're just beautiful. They're like three layers and oh gosh, and this is the back and down here It says limited edition 2000 and it says piece of Disney movie So they're super limited edition and Beautiful and they're my favorite honestly here are the other ones. I took those out of my book to show you but Peter Pan Fantasia and they're all different scenes and they're all my favorites I only get these ones when I love the scene because they're kind of pricey, but I think it's worth it um, if you have like an emotional connection to one of the scenes and I'm waiting for them to make more like these like I want like a, a frozen one and a hunchback and a Lion King and a Tarzan could you imagine oh my gosh I'm getting all worked up now you see what you do to me I'm patiently waiting Disney for those but these are fortune cookies and each one has a different little slogan on it so that one's Rapunzel it says go live your dreams Elsa level thaw frozen heart Dory, just keep swimming, and Stitch. Family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. So these are open editions, and these are kind of not the norm of pins that are open edition, but are difficult to find and more on the pricey side. They're birthstones, one for each month, and I'm missing Megara from Hercules. She's January and she's very expensive. <laughs> she's like $120 and I don't have that to spend on a pin right now, so her space is empty and I just get to look at these girls. But I am still on the hunt for her, so if you have her to trade, stay tuned for my traders. I think there were three different sets of this, um, or four. And these are very often faked. So yes, people do fake Disney pins. Try not to buy bulk lots on eBay. And these pins in particular, mostly hidden Mickeys and open edition pins are faked, but these pins are very, very heavily faked. They're called scrappers. I only have real ones of these pins and it's difficult to hunt them down, but I take pride in having real pins. And if I didn't, it would be a lot easier to complete this set and much cheaper, but they need to be real for me. So I've got Mission Space, Dinosaur, Everest, Jungle Cruise, Peter Pan's Flight, Cali River Rapids, and Star Tours, and there's like 10 more that I'm missing. But that's all right. I'll get them eventually. I'm moving to Florida. I've got my girl Jessie. Yep, a lot of these are open edition, but some of them are limited edition, like this um, 
one over here. This one here is limited edition. I believe this one in particular is a, a pre-production pin. So that's kind of cool. And there's just... This was one of my first pins, fun fact, down here. When Somebody Loves You with Bullseye. I got that one back in um, 2001 when I was there with my family. And it's actually a error pin because the song is called When Somebody Loved Me, but they changed it to When Somebody Loves You because that's a bit more happy. <laughs> I think it would be depressing to say When Somebody Loved Me on a pin. Here's a bunch of randos. We've got In For Your Dreams. That's Merida. Love that one. This is one of my favorites here, the Peter Pan clock. It's a hidden Mickey pin, but it's really hard to come by, and I just think it's so beautiful. There's something about it. I don't, I can't really put my finger on it, but I love it. Here's a bunch of others, a few Pirates of the Caribbean, obviously a Mickey's Premium Ice Cream Bar, Festival of Fantasy. This is cool. This is a calendar from 2014, and it's May, and it has Cinderella on it, and there's a little star on May 11th, which is my birthday, because that year it was Mother's Day, which is really cool. <laughs> And this is my graduation from college pin. It's got Stitch, class of 2017. We've got Sadness. I love this pin. Super cute. The Up House. Dory Just Keeps Swimming. And Magic in the Air from Wally. A couple of Cinderella. Meet the Robinsons. I want so many more of those pins, but they're really hard to come by and they're really expensive because there's so few of them. So if you have Meet the Robinsons pin for trade, let me know. A couple of Ariel pins. I love Ariel and Eric, so... Oh! There's Sebastian. And then this pin's super cool. I got this from... It has Aaron on it. We got it from our Keys to the Kingdom tour when we went, and we took it around um, Magic Kingdom. So... What does it say on it? It says... Oh, huh, Disney's Keys to the Kingdom. Okay, so these are Quasimodo and Tangled. They're little collections, but... I love the pins. They're stained glass, and, you know, these ones open, and they're super limited edition. They're really, really cute. This one swings. And then Rapunzel's. I've got her macaroon, too, from Paris, and this one opens. Look! How cute is that? It's like a little envelope. Okay, so there's one more page in this book. Not done yet! You thought! These are some fantasy pens that I was telling you about. So, people made these specifically because you know, they wanted something like this and it didn't exist, so they made it themselves. This is from Big Hero 6, and I love it for some reason, Tadashi and Honey Lemon, and they're like sharing headphones, and I believe it glows in the dark, like the stars glow, which is really cool. This one's Eeyore, and he's got a semicolon on him. Here you can see it, and it's symbolic of like mental health and depression and anxiety, so I love this pin. Somebody made it, and I was like, I need it right now. I love this scene, and this pin is huge. Can you see, like, how big it is? This one's Hook from Once Upon a Time. And they don't really make any Hook pins, so I found one that isn't really Disney authorized. <laughs> These are, like, Melody Song pins, and they're limited edition 1500. I got them on the last couple times I went. One's Figment, and one is um, Simba, and they're, like, on records. How cool is that? TJ got these for me for Christmas. Not me. Look at the pins. Look at the pins. Millennium Falcon and BB-8 and Chewy and all that cool stuff. So I didn't have any Star Wars pins pre this. So that's... And then we've got a big box of randos. And yes, these are pins. I got this set for Christmas. I'm going to see the new Avengers tomorrow and I'm so excited and I don't have any Avengers pins. So I'll probably wear like this one because that's the closest thing I have to an Avengers pin, which is pathetic, but what are you going to do? This one TJ also got me. It says, do or do not, there is no try, and it's Yoda. I got this one, look, it's in a little pot. How cute is that? And it's from the Flower and Garden Festival ugh, in 2001, which we were there for, and like we didn't even know it. So I found this later on eBay, but it's in a little pot. And it's like stained glass. The flowers are stained glass. <laughs> this is a pin that you get when you like become a cast member. Um, which is funny because I am not yet a cast member, but I bought that from somebody else. I got this one from the Disney store in London. I got this one from the Disney store in Paris when I went to Paris. When Tomorrowland came out and I was like, obviously I need a Tomorrowland pin. This one is Tinkerbell, and it's for the 45th anniversary of Magic Kingdom. Uh, 45th anniversary pin for Magic Kingdom. 
it's Mickey. And I believe I won this one in a giveaway. It's Princess Ada. And she has a sorcerer hat on her. How cute is that? And it's Walt Disney Imagineering. This one's kind of cool. You put it on like the back of your lanyard and they kind of peek around the side. And I have one for Tinkerbell also. This is a Cinderella boxed set from the live action Cinderella movie from the Disney store. And these pins are breathtakingly beautiful. Like, look at those. They're so sparkly. This is a series, and it's a storybook series, and I have six of them, and one for trade. I actually have the Beauty and the Beast one for trade also, so if you love it, let me know. This one is Aladdin, and it's a book, and it's stained glass, and it opens. Look at this. How beautiful, Aladdin. It's literally like a storybook. I wanted this pin forever, and I finally found it. It has the rose, it says Beauty and the Beast on the side, and then it opens, and look, they're in the ballroom. And I have a Peter Pan one, which is amazing also, and they're like flying above London. Finding Nemo, <laughs> and it's like the tank, and there's Nemo and Gil, where the balloons are filled with magic. So I think it's just like for Disney World, and how cute is that? Pirates? I like this one. And it's the ride, this set of hunchback pins from the Disney store. This is what the front looks like. And then it opens and it's this little wood box. And you have five pins, all the characters. I also have these two framed sets, which people have actually like picked up for me at either like garage sales or flea markets or things like that where they see them. And I have this one and like it's a picture of all the, I hope you could see it with the glare, but a picture of like, you know, all the characters in front of the castle, and then it has Tinkerbell as a pin, Cinderella as a pin, Mickey next to her, and Pluto. So there's four in this little frame, which is really, really cute. It comes with an official certificate. The certificate says it is an artist proof, or it says that there's 20 artist proofs, and it's a limited product to the year of 3000. And it's for Mickey's Filler Magic. So I guess it's like when Mickey's Filler Magic opened. And um, and it's got this little pin in the, in the corner here. Mickey Mouse for Mickey's Filler Magic. And it's really big. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I'm hoping uh, I can have some kind of like Disney room. <laughs> like instead of having a man cave for my husband, I'm hoping like he'll give it to me. And I can have like all my Disney stuff down there. So that it doesn't take over the whole house. Because that's not really a good look. But um... I would love to have all this stuff somewhere and be able to hang it on the walls and say, look at all this cool stuff I accumulated and no one's ever gonna care except for me, but that's fine. <laughs> Those are all of my pins in my collection. And I know that's gonna be super long, but I'm gonna quickly go through my pins that I have for trade and then we're done. So I have two slightly smaller bags of pins that I have for trade and these will be coming with me so I can trade in the parks. Epcot is a big place to trade, I think on Sundays. And so these, I'm just, I'm not even gonna explain. I'm just gonna show you and you know, you could just see what there is. And there's pages and pages. And these fall out all the time because I don't put the backs in this one. I just kind of like jam the pins into the cardboard that separates the pages. Oh, this one's kind of cute actually, it opens. And Jasmine's inside. Oh, just kidding. You get the picture. Summer from the soda fountain. Oh, there's the, uh, the Segway tour pin. <laughs> the other one that, um, went with the keep moving forward. Oh, she's not naked. This is like a magnetic one with her wedding dress, which is kind of cool. From, I believe, Hong Kong. Oh, Lila took a tumble. Well, they all kind of took a tumble, didn't they? Another one of the fortune cookies. This is a Lion King one that opens. It's like a storybook. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got some mystery princesses here. A couple of miscellaneous. Like, this is from Star Wars. These are from the Times Square Disney store. There was a mini there, but I gifted it to somebody. Love the 
Keys to the Kingdom pins from my mom and Tom. They were like, you could trade ours. I was like, you don't gotta tell me twice. And then this is just the bag that I bring uh, to trade in the parks. So these are just some super generic, authentic pins that I bring with me to trade um, with cast members and with other people in the parks. Um, oh yeah, there's Miko. That's one of the other like sidekick ones. So these are what I'll trade like on lanyards with cast members if I see something that I love. Oh yeah, and there's a, a Palpatine just in case somebody loves Star Wars and uh, you know, they've got something that I just need, all right? All right, so guys, that is, that is it. That is my pin collection, complete, unabridged, traitors, collections, I'm so glad that somebody asked me to do this video because this is actually one of the first videos that I thought about putting on YouTube, but I didn't think anybody would care about it. And I'm sure people still don't care about it, except that one person that commented. So thank you very much. I hope you watch it 17,000 times. If you have any questions about pin trading at all, let me know about collecting. If you want to meet up in the parks to trade sometime, let me know. I would freaking die. That would be the coolest thing ever. I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye. Um, you know, they're Mickey shaped, or it could be like a Mickey pretzel or a churro. Or so oh, there's a really pretty bird outside the window. Can you see him? Probably not. It's a whole game. There's another bird. I have the attention span of a flea. I don't even play cup club. Okay, you, ow, you have no idea how often I'm stabbed. Like, this is a dangerous hobby. I bleed for these things, come on. I traded it for the cast member. I traded it from a cast member? With a cast member? I got it from a cast member. <laughs> I also zoomed you in so that you could see, oh! Just poke myself. So that you could see them easier. I'm dropping them all over the place. This is the most difficult video I've ever made, okay? Give me a break. And I'll just show you a couple as examples. Then I have just a couple of like miscellaneous. Yes, that's what you want to see. This is the back. <laughs> There's so many pins.